Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my today's class. Now, let's get started. Just look at this number. This is a 9 digit number and it is 7, 4, 6, 9, 8, 5, 3, 2, 4. Now, how can I read this number? This number can be read as 74 crore 69 lakh 85,320. Four. Now, according to how we have written this number in words, we can divide it into groups. So, 74 crore is the first group, 69 lakh is the second group, 85,000 is the next group and 324 is the last group. Because that is how we read the number. 324 is the last group 85 is the group before it and 69 is the group before it and 74 is the first group so this is how i can divide the number or the digits of a number into groups so starting from the right first we group the last three digits then two 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 so in the last group we have three digits here we have 2, 2 and 2 digits. So the last 3 digits comes under the 1's period. Then 85 comes under the 1000's period. These 2 digits 69 comes under the lakhs period and 74 comes under the crores period. What we can do? We can put commas to separate the periods like 74 crore. We can put a comma here to separate crores and lakhs period. In 69 lakhs, we can put a comma here to separate lakhs from thousands and after 85, we can put a comma to separate thousands from ones. So, with the help of these commas, we can easily write the numbers in figures. So, let us see how we can write this number in figures like 74, comma, 69, comma, 85, comma, 324. So, how we can read this number? 74 crore 69 lakh 85,324. So, we can make the uh, number easier to read by putting the commas after every period. Now, as we know that one period has three digits, so it means it has three places. 1000 has two digits, so it means it has two places. Again, lakhs is having two digits. It means it also has two places and crore is also having two digits. So, it has two places. Now, what are those places? It is ones, tens, hundreds in the ones period and in thousands periods, we have thousands, then ten thousands then in the lakhs period we have lakh ten lakh in the crores period we have crore and ten crore so the last period, the ones period is having three places, ones, tens and hundred and we read this number as 324, 324. The thousands period is having two places that is thousands and ten thousands that is why we read this number as 85 thousands. Then lakh is having lakh and ten lakh that is why we read 69 as 69 lakh. And this crore period is having crore and 10 crore. That is why we read this number 74 crores. So, this is the Indian numbering system. This, time of, this type of pattern we follow in the Indian numbering system which is followed in the Indian subcontinent. Now, what is the pattern which is followed in the other continents other than Indian subcontinent. Let us see that. So, what is followed in the other continents that is other than Indian subcontinent is the international numbering 
system. In this system, we divide the digits or we divide the number into the groups of three. Like how we divide the digits? Now, if I start from the right, three digits are in the ones group. Again, three digits are in the thousands group and three digits in the millions group. So, I divide here into the groups of three, three and three. So, in the international numbering system, we group the digits into the groups of three. Now, how can we write this number in words? See, 746 comes under the millions period or millions group. So, we can write 746 million. Now, 985 comes under the thousands group. So, we can write 985 thousands. Now, 324 comes under the ones group. So, we can write 324. So, here we have groups of three digits in each group. We are having three digits in each group that is ones, thousands and millions. So, here we have three periods, ones period, thousands periods or millions periods or we can say groups. Now, each period is divided into three places. Ones period is divided into ones, tens and hundreds place. Thousands period is divided into thousand, ten thousand and hundred thousand places. It has three places. Now, millions period is also having three places that is million, ten million and hundred million. So, we have to remember that in international numbering system, we divide a number into groups of three and in total we have three groups and each group has three digits in it. So, how can I write the uh, number in figures? So, what we can do, we can write this number 7, 4, 6, 9, 8, 5, 3, 2, 4. And starting from the right, we have to begin from the right side and 1, 2, 3, put a comma, 1, 2, 3, put a comma and 1, 2, 3. So, we have divided this number into the groups of 3. First group, the last group we can say is having 3 digits. Before it, we are having 3 digits and here also we are having 3 digits. So, how can we read this number? 746 millions. 985,324. So, this is how we need to follow the pattern or the way we can write the numbers in international numbering system. It will have three periods and each period will have three places or you can say you can put a comma from after writing every three numbers. Here the number is already written, the periods are written, the places are written. So, we can put a comma after every three numbers or if you are writing the number, you need to put commas beginning from the last, from the right side. Three digits, put a comma, three digits, put a comma and so on. So, I hope you would have understood it. Now, let us compare both the numbering systems, the international numbering system and the Indian numbering system. Now, I am having a chart with me in which I have written the or I have made both international as well as Indian numbering system together. So, I have taken together both the numbering systems in one chart. So, let us see the international numbering system. It has the places 1, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, 100,000, million, 10 million and 100 million. So, in the international numbering system, we divide the number into the groups of three. It means starting from the right, we have three numbers in the ones group, then next three in the thousand group and the next three in the millions group. So, the whole number has been divided into the groups of, into three groups and each group has three digits in it. So, in the Indian numbering system, we have places like 1, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, lakh, 10 lakh, crore, 10 crore. And in this numbering system, we divide the places into the groups like, let me just tell you, the first group starting from the right has three digits or we can say three places and this group is called ones group or ones period. The next period or group has 
two places and this is called the thousands period. The next one has two places and it is called the lakhs period and the next one is, ha is having two places and is the crores period. So, we can say that in both the numbering system, the only difference is how we separate the numbers or how we uh, put commas in both the numbers. Like in international numbering system, we put commas after every three numbers. If we start from right, three digits, then put comma, then three digits or places, then put comma. Whereas in case of Indian numbering system, starting from the right side, three places, then comma, two places, then comma before them, then again two places and comma before them. So, in the international numbering system, starting from the right, put commas after every three digits. One, two, three, put comma. One, two, three, put comma. Whereas in Indian numbering system, starting from the right, three places, then comma, two places, then comma, two places, then comma. So, international numbering system has three, 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 whereas Indian numbering system has three, two, two, two. Now, I have taken a number which I will use for both the numbering systems like 74698532.4. If I have to read this number according to Indian numbering system, how I am going to read it? Now, 74 comes under the crores period. So, 74 crore. 69 comes under the lakhs period. So, 69 lakh. 85 comes under the thousands period. So, 85,000 and 324 comes under the ones period. So, 324. So, how can I read it? 74 crore, 69 lakh, 85,324. Whereas, if I have to read this number according to international numbering system, how I am going to read it? Now, in the first period, that is millions period, Three digits are there or three places are there. 746. It means 746 millions. Now in the next period or group again I have three digits. That is the thousands period. So 985 thousands. And in the last group again I have three digits. It is 324 which comes under the ones period. So how I am going to read it? 746 millions. 985,324 ones. So, dear students, in both the numbering system, the way we write the number is that we can say the only difference is how we put the commas or separators. These commas are called the separators. So, how we put commas or separators to separate the groups. So, always remember the international numbering system has three groups and each group has three places or three digits. The Indian numbering system has four groups and each group starting from the right. The first group will have three digits or three places and all the other groups will have two, two and two places. So remember this and this is how you can compare the international and Indian numbering system. I hope you would have understood it. Thank you.